Today I want to share with you the review of this Milwaukee Fuel Deep Cut Bandsaw. Fantastic tool from Milwaukee. I am a welder fabricator and I use this thing every week in the shop. It has a 5 amp hour battery right here. Just some of the features real quick. It has an adjustable little cutting fence right there. It has a rafter hook or a belt hook, or whatever you want to call it right there. It has a variable speed right here to be able to change your speed and then it's a little thumb push button, which is ambidextrous and a variable speed trigger as well. So you can set your speed right there to be set, but you can also then control it with the trigger. It has a work light illuminating very well right there. Like I said, you can adjust this fence in and out as well. The blade on this thing needs changed. So I'm gonna do that right now and show you how simple it is. You've got this level right here that just goes like that and it removes the tension off the blade right here. So then you can see you can just come in here and Blade is loose, so you can just look over there. I'm trying to be careful not to cut my fingers, but it comes out just like that. This is the old blade, and then I've got a new blade right here. Last one, and this package of three. I just order these from Amazon, and I get an 8 to 12 teeth per inch. So I'll open this guy up. Comes with a nice protective guard on the blade right there. Go ahead and take that off. I really like these blades. They're very good quality and they last a long time. So the size on this thing, if you didn't see it there, is a 44 and 7 eighths inch. 025, 8 to 12 half inch. So then let's see, we've got the wheels turning this way, so the saw is cutting this way. Make sure that I'm putting this on correctly. And it will just lace right in through here. I'm going to put the guard down like that so it's easier to get it in. Just lace it on these two guide rollers first. Over onto this roller. I cut aluminum with this saw. I cut steel with it. I cut stainless steel. It's fantastic. There we go. It's just barely laced there, so now I'm going to give it a little, little encouragement by a little turning right there. Put it right into that gap there. A little more encouragement. Push onto that wheel. I'll take the tension up. And Real easy, you just clip that there and then just like that, the saw's ready to go again. Let me show you just how easy it is to cut with this thing. This is a piece of 065, half inch by inch and a half inch. Super easy to cut straight with this thing as well. And then let me show you another really handy feature about this one. I'm going to undo that vise here. And then this is the feature I love about it. This battery right here provides a nice little spot. 
So open it up, pinch it in your vise softly, because it is just holding by the battery. So close, hold it right there. And then take this piece of material you need, or maybe you have a piece of plate or something, and it creates a nice little platform right here. So then you just Just like that. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got some more tool reviews coming like this Milwaukee half inch impact wrench. Fantastic tool as well as this Milwaukee little impact 12 volt, this Milwaukee 18 volt angle grinder, this Milwaukee 12 volt little die grinder, this Milwaukee little fuel die grinder 90 degrees, this Milwaukee 12 volt fuel flush cut variable speed tool, Milwaukee's 18 volt reciprocating saw, the fuel nut runner, as well as the non-fuel nut runner. So stay tuned, make sure to punch that sub like button and subscribe button, and you'll be seeing some more Milwaukee tools soon. If you're a Makita fan or another type of fan, I also actually probably have more Makita tools than Milwaukee tools. So we've got corded angle grinders. I love these for shop work. I've got battery powered angle grinders. You know what one of my favorite Makita tools is? It's this guy right here. Multi-position light. And uh, I'll be doing a video review on that one as well. I love their impact drivers as well. And they have rotary sander or random orbital. I don't know, I'm a sucker for tools. And if you wanna see more of them coming up, I'll be giving you a review of a bunch of them. So make sure to subscribe. I'll see you soon.